Hi, I'm Andrew from Creative Guitar. Thanks for tuning in to my weekly guitar blog. It is Friday, August 6, 2010. And this week I'll be discussing uh, musicians and tax matters. Uh, also, the importance of staying in good form to be able to keep making your gigs. And I'll also answer a guitar blog subscriber question. But uh, first of all, I would like to start off with uh, the business side of being a musician. I get asked about that a lot. And, you know, keeping records and doing taxes as a player is one of the top questions I seem to always be getting. So I'm going to discuss this a little bit. You know, it's so important to keep accurate records and to follow your taxes on time. Uh, you know, look at Wycliffe Jean right now. Um, he's in a messy place with his tax issues. If you haven't heard, he was beyond late in paying his tax bill from the Haiti charity organization that he established. And I believe back in 2005 he established that organization and then it was uh, over three years uh, before he actually filed any taxes for it. And um, you know he was accused of also misusing his donations from that charity. So he's in a real mess. And you know some of that stuff fits with the taxes, obviously. But there's another side of it that fits right in with keeping accurate records. You know if he uh, had nothing to hide and he could just produce his records quickly and show the tax man what's going on, um, I'm sure they just leave him alone. So uh, I believe now the IRS filed a multi-million dollar tax lien against the rapper. So you know, something like over two million dollars that he fell behind on uh, through his payments. And, um, you know, if this stuff happens to you and you're a superstar, and you get sloppy with your business, you can really have problems. But uh, it's not just limited to superstars. You know, any musician can have problems if they don't keep accurate records uh, and on a good quality database, let's say. And, you know, I personally swear by using accounting programs myself. Uh, I like FileMaker Pro a lot. And for accounting, I use QuickBooks. That's my personal favorite, but um, anything's good. And believe me, this stuff is really important, so don't neglect it. Uh, I want to move on, though, now to um, the fact that, you know, actually you don't need to even worry too much about keeping accurate records and doing your taxes on time every year unless you are actually uh, making money as a musician in the, in the field. So in order to have records to keep or worry about doing your taxes or any of that, um, you first have to actually make some money. And that involves getting to your gigs prepared on time. You have to be really Johnny on the spot, ready to play. Whether that's a you know playing a club date, or if you're doing a wedding gig, I got a wedding tomorrow I got to do, or you know doing a wine and cheese event, a banquet, uh, whatever it is, a recording session, or even just making it. You know, so every appointment for your teaching gig, if you have a teaching gig, you know, you need to be able to do the job. Basically, is what I'm saying. And that involves above all else not being sick, you know, staying healthy. And if you play guitar, that also means never cutting your hands. You know. Um, especially your finger, you know, so you have to be there 100% for the job is uh, is the bottom line, you know. This makes me think um, about what recently happened to pop megastar there, uh, Justin Bieber. He became sick recently, I don't know if you read that, but he was at a gig, I think, in Florida, and, you know, uh, fortunately for him, he was able to carry on, but he came pretty close to missing that show, evidently, and, you know, when there's probably a few thousand kids there paying top dollar to see uh, a guy like that, you know, canceling might be pretty tough, uh, even if you're puking or just sick like you wouldn't believe me. You know, you've got to do some of these shows. Uh, I can recall, um, I believe it was Mar uh, Mariah Carey, you know, she just had to drop everything many years ago. Well, 10 years ago, she suffered a really serious physical and emotional breakdown, and she had to check into a hospital, I believe. Uh, it, was, it was quite bad, you know, getting sick like that uh, and, you know, missing gigs or missing appointments, uh, television show appearances, whatever it might be. You know, um, some of these huge megastars, when it happens to them, they get really busy and um, they can, uh, you know, miss sleep. You get sick fairly easily, obviously, if you're run down. And if you have a million public appearances, it's bad. So um, it's really important to keep it together, I guess, is what uh, I'm trying to say here. I've seen good players also, you got to think about this way too, I've seen good players blow it in the early days of their careers because just basically they were sloppy and they were late or maybe they weren't prepared. I've seen people act, uh, you know, poorly or even dress really poorly at serious professional gigs. So basically, you know, the bottom line is stay healthy, get your rest, uh, eat well, be prepared, be super professional, uh, you know, stay on your game. And I think if you, you know, keep in mind that if you can do that and if you really hustle, you'll probably do uh, not too bad at making a decent living as a musician. So uh, anyway, I want to carry on here to uh, the question of the week here. It's uh, from Peter in Jamaica. He says, uh, Andrew, I'm recording a few guitar tracks and wanted to know how to set my digital delay. Uh, I cannot get the echoes to be good. I was told there's a math formula to it. Um, well, basically, here's the scoop. There's a formula for that, but uh, I'll just show you a website that you can just basically jump online, and this uh, has perfect live computer algorithm on it that will automatically do the computation uh, that uh, you need to set all your repeat settings for your digital delay. 
So if you just head over to Google and type in delay time calculator, do the Google search on that, and the first one will be the delay time calculator at a website in the UK called the Whipping Post. If you just go there and scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see the uh, calculator uh, over here just labeled as delay time generator. And uh, let's say you had uh, beats per minute of maybe 132, so the eighth note uh, would be uh, set for a delay of 152. Probably if you're playing rock or something, you may want that set at a quarter note. So you notice that the millisecond delay changes to 303. It's just as simple as that. So that's probably what I would suggest using to um, get your delay settings. It's called the Whipping Post, and uh, you can just find that off of Google if you just type in Delay Time Calculator. It's just that easy. And uh, that's about all the time I have for today. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll be blogging again next week. Take care. Bye for now, and we'll see you next time.